Hello, this is Alex with Tech Avenger TV. Thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to be covering our, continuing rather, our series on launchers. Android launchers. And today we're going to be covering what hopes to be a great launcher. It's the Aero Launcher by none other than the Microsoft Corporation. So Microsoft made this launcher and uh, they've uh, made a lot of claims about it. Um, so we're going to take a look at it and see uh, how, this, how this looks, feels, and uh, see what the features are. So let's get right into it. Actually, first, uh, let's go to the Play Store. And you guys know how to uh, get uh, to this. You can type in Arrow Launcher or just Launchers. And it should be, uh, at least for me, it was towards the top. Um, let's see here. Let's look at uh, some of their um, uh, things, uh, features that they're saying it uh, has the... Um, ultimate and customization um, quickly get back to all of your recent activity phone calls text messages um, up here it says it's a launcher for Android that offers radical simplification of the Android experience It is packed with battery and memory saving technology we'll take a look at that arrow is lightweight fast and efficient it is it also includes beautiful being wallpaper updated daily. Uh, Arrow makes it easy to find your favorite apps, keep in touch with friends, and stay on top of the important things in your life. The more you use it, the better it gets. Arrow is available worldwide and translated into all major languages. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, I had to already set it up because I'm screen recording. Um, part of the setup process has already been done uh, just because it wouldn't allow me to uh, set it up while I was recording. Um, but um, it's pretty straightforward uh, stuff. Um, just follow the instructions. So I'm going to go right in and <clears throat> here we go. I got to this point where it's basically asking me to uh, confirm at least eight of my most used apps. So I guess it wants me to pick some of my uh, most used apps. So um, for this, you know, whatever, I'm just gonna select all these here. Okay, so here we go. So it's here, um, as you can see, uh, last time, well, I was under the impression it would change the wallpaper. I'm not sure why it didn't. Uh, but basically, uh, let's, let's just change that to begin with. You just hold on the uh, screen, and uh, there's wallpaper right there. Um... See if we can't find a nice looking wallpaper here. Okay, well, we'll just go with this. Uh, let's see, there's Bing wallpaper. Okay, we'll go with this one here. Set. Okay, so here's how it looks it puts some, uh, and I guess you could probably select more apps when it asks you to select at least eight. You probably select more and it'll put more on here, which is basically your home screen. Um, but uh, it, uh, let's see, if you swipe over, um, you can see people, your frequent contacts will be shown here. So as you use it, it'll start showing people you frequently contact, I guess. Uh, swipe over and here is uh, reminders. So tap on text to edit uh, this is a reminder alert so it gives you all sorts of reminders and stuff and I guess you can uh, um, edit you know if you'd like I'm not gonna bother with that but let's see if there's another so over here you can sign into your Microsoft account um, 
and uh, from what I understand, it gives easy access to your uh, Microsoft, uh, uh, you know, accounts, various uh, accounts for your uh, OneDrive and whatever you, you want to access. Um, I'm not going to log in right now. Uh, there's no real need to, but um, as I keep going, you can see there's recent tap to enable. Uh, I am preview so there's a bunch of stuff here that it'll pop up which is kind of uh, okay I guess um, there's also a widget screen uh, you can uh, let's see let's add a widget um, I'm gonna go here and okay we're just gonna put a clock widget there we go so we got a basic clock widget up there and you can add more um, customize it how you like um, but basically uh, Microsoft is saying it's a beautiful look um, they're boasting um, its speed uh, battery saving capabilities its simplification uh, apparently it saves memory as well as battery it just uh, you know they've made a lot of claims and to be honest um, as far as uh, looks it looks okay I mean um, I guess you know style has uh, something to do with it what what you like and uh, in this case um, I'm a little more stock Android guy as you guys know um, I prefer stock Android so this isn't necessarily my cup of tea um, but I can see how it's very useful how they have uh, Microsoft has put a lot into trying to make it really user-friendly um, and I do appreciate that. Um, speed, as you can see, I'm going back and forth. Uh, it flows really uh, smoothly. Um, it transitions from screen to screen. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll give them that. It's fast. Uh, battery savings. Um, that's something that would be uh, over time, I guess, we'd have to see. You guys can check that for yourself. Um, but they say it does save battery. Um, simplification. They say it's very uh, uh, simple to use, which I'll give them that as well. Like we said, it, it is a uh, very simple, very fr friendly user interface. Um, memory management. Um, it, it, it does appear to do that. Um, it doesn't uh, jam up, you know, all your memories. You can open many pages as you want, and uh, it seems to um, do just fine. So um, I'll give them that as well. Um, how it feels is uh, pretty much... Um, I think it feels good, you know, I mean, they, they, you can tell they pride themselves on, uh, making it feel good and, and everything. And, and I do enjoy the way it feels. And, you know, if I wasn't such a stock Android guy, this would definitely be a top five launcher that, uh, I would possibly use because I do like the simplicity. It puts your, uh, contacts and all this extra stuff that will be added as you start using it. Um, so, uh, I like that, um, let's check out the settings, it has its own arrow settings right there, and as you can see, change wallpaper at the top, feedback and help, so I guess you can give them feedback, also request help, uh, it has system settings, which this is probably the settings to the actual, uh, phone, yeah, which it is, so let's go back to the setting, arrow settings, um, set a uh, default launcher, uh, language for arrow, which it's obviously set to English, but you can change that. Um, it also has updates, so we can check for updates. It would go to the Play Store. Let's try that and see what it does. See if there's any updates. Okay, no, it appears we have the latest version. So, uh, let's look at some more. Accounts, uh, you can put in your various accounts. Um... Microsoft accounts, like I said, it'll keep track of, uh, of everything. Um, I'm not sure that it keeps track of your Google accounts and stuff as well. Um, that would be nice if it did, but I'm guessing it doesn't look like it does. Um, you can change this keep page header. Uh, double tap screen to lock. 
Um, so there's that option. High performance, disable visual effects. Uh, so you can get yourself a little extra performance, um, but you are going to suffer, I guess, some of the uh, graphic uh, performance um, for uh, performance. So uh, your judge, if you'd like to do that, uh, you can set 24-hour format, hidden apps, set icon packs. So you can um, possibly uh, go to the Google Play Store, it looks like, and install custom um, icon packs. Uh, display apps in reverse order, okay. Customize apps page. Notification badges, enable IM. Okay, so it goes on and on as you can see. There is a lot of uh, settings um, that you can choose from. Uh, you, al you also have the option down here to join the beta program. Um, so it looks like they're going to keep putting out uh, new updates for it, and you can be among the first to uh, get that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so all in all, um, I gotta say it's a pretty good uh, a launcher. I do like it. Um, like I said, right off the bat, uh, it feels good. Um, no complaints. Um, I guess uh, after time, like I said, it will get better. It will uh, pick up on what you commonly use and stuff, and your contacts will show here, and various uh, probably calendar events, reminders, all sorts of stuff, uh, documents. Um, the list goes on and on, and it's got a widget page, it looks like, just for widgets, which is kind of nice. Um, so uh, I do like it. Um, so you can uh, see everything seems to work pretty seamlessly. Um, yeah. As you guys can see, it flows pretty well. Um, I mean, it's not the fastest launcher I've seen. I mean, but, uh, you know, Microsoft does say it's fast, and, and it is. It is fast. It's just not the fastest I've seen. Um and it does have a lot of customization, uh, which I like. So you guys should check it out, see what you guys think, maybe use it for a few days and see how it uh, adapts to your um, lifestyle and, and uh, how it um, custom, you know, sets itself up and all these features that aren't being used right now, how they, uh, how they adapt. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to be among the first to see our new videos. Um, also leave a comment on your thoughts on the Arrow Launcher. Will you guys use it? Is this something you guys would actually uh, use? And if not, what don't you like about it? Um, this is Alex with the Te Tech Avenger TV. We will see you in the next video. Alex, out.